so this is what we define as a poverty simulation and so it is an opportunity for people in our community to essentially walk in the shoes of a person who is low income, who is struggling to make ends meet and to um, have a better understanding of the day-to-day -day struggle that po is posed to these people. We provide orientation for the volunteers, so they come and commit an hour of their time before the event starts, and then we welcome people in the community to actually be participants, or they assume a role of one of the families um, that are struggling in poverty. These are um, a replication of true people's lives, and so um, it, they, people have, have challenges with getting their rent paid, with having enough money to buy groceries, there's struggles with childcare, employment issues, so um, some of the families have, say, a disabled relative that's living with them, so it's really very much like real life, and at the, the goal or what they need to do by the end of the simulation is essentially have paid rent, bought enough food for their family, gotten their children to school, addressed any unexpected events that may have happened. Uh, so it, it really is what we each and every one of us face every day in life, but yet the challenge that these families have is that they are definitely the working poor and or unemployed. And so that brings a whole host of, of challenges for people. Well, it's a way to help all of us be more sensitive to the challenges that many of our uh, neighbors in our community are facing. And so 40% of our neighbors on the Lower Eastern Shore, are we, we define as Alice families, which is asset limited, income constrained, employed. So these are people working very hard, multiple jobs, but who are there, who are just making ends meet. And they're literally one event from a financial crisis. And so this is a way to be more sensitive to that and to really look at solutions and what can we do in our community to provide stability for these families if it's through employment or higher paying jobs or child care, a plethora of things that we can look at, but it's to increase awareness. And then to also the next step is, okay, now, now that we're more aware and sensitized to this, what can we do in our community to offset or mitigate some of these problems?